everyone. So we're at the ATSA Expo on the last day and we're talking with Rowan and Tara from Magic Mobility. These are the new mobility handles. They're a new attendant controller, very different than a traditional joystick um, and we think they're a lot easier to use. Press the safety pins and then you just move. So essentially the chair now moves in line with your movements. The great thing about the mobility handles is that they um, are retrofittable to any wheelchair. Pricing of these is $3,150 for the handles um, a set and then with the bracketry around um, $3,300. Just cruises around looking at different stalls. Uh, g'day yeah, chat, so here we have the uh, Quingo flight and docking station. Um, this scooter just here, I'm about to fold down and it's going to load up into this car. The scooter itself is 32 kilometres on the single charge yeah. uh, and it's 160 kilo capacity per person. The guys at Blue Sky Healthcare are retailing this one for 9,000. So you've got a portable scooter that you can take anywhere that you're not actually pulling apart. So we can actually have uh, a bit of extra battery power and motor power in there. So you're not compromising on performance for portability. Just cruises around looking at different stalls. We are with Matt from Sunrise Medical and we're talking about some of the new tech that they've got in, um, particularly the standing wheelchair behind us, which will be released in November, is that in right? In November, yeah. Yep. We've got a Q700. We're actually introducing a mid-wheel drive stand-up power chair. So um, traditionally stand-up wheelchairs have had to be uh, front-wheel drive for stability. We've done some unique things with the front suspension to give you stability at the front. Some other unique things about the chair is there's seating apps. This will actually tell you your um, posture changes through the day, your pressure reliefs, all that sort of stuff, and it'll keep track on your own iPhone or Android. So they've got a range of around about 40 kilometres. Cost-wise, for the full standing chair, they're around about the $40,000 mark on the, on the road. Just cruises around looking at different stalls. I'm checking out the very cool all-terrain vehicle um, by Zoom Ability. It's built in Scandinavia, so it's made to go on snowfields and grass, beach, rocks. Um, the wheel travel on it is, is pretty cool, so you can get up over big, big bumps. The range on it is about 10 to 15 kilometres. And what sort of price point are you looking at? $24,000. Oh wow, it okay, is, so they're on the upper end of It yeah. is, it is. It's not a cheap device to have. Fraser drives the vehicle. I'm at the tablet stall at Atza, um, which just won our best small stall. And I'm going to go and check out some of the AT that they've got in store. So the, uh, the demo that Joss saw was a um, welcome to virtual reality. It just basically takes you on a, a roller coaster ride or sort of a train ride through virtual reality. It just shows you all the different techniques and stuff that actually are in virtual reality and how it works. Do you think the, like, the applications for virtual reality? For Absolutely massive anywhere, um, especially in disabilities, um, autism, um, pain management, we're using it for that. Uh, yeah, just di different t um, techniques for calming people down. Or just, just a visit around the world. Yeah, we looked, um, see places that you could never get to. At Chat Logo, bringing assistive technology to life. Live, play, work.